Hey, my name is Carson Coivisto. I work at Gerber Gear out of Portland, Oregon. We're a manufacturer of knives, tools, and general outdoor gear that's uh, problem-solving, life-saving gear. We'll walk you through some of our 2020 new releases here. So I want to start with uh, my personal favorite, my baby. This is called the Double Down. So the Double Down is made in America. Uh, it is a three product in one hybrid. So what you have is a product that butterflies open on a geared system. So it isn't technically a bally song or a butterfly knife, but a butterfly is open. You have, when you choke down here to this first ergonomic position, you have a machete for your chopping needs. You're generally going to be chopping out at the end of a product like that because you're going to get the most impact. So that leaves this section here as this recurved area that kind of maintains a really sharp, fresh edge. So this, this position here is kind of your knife work in a pinch. And then lastly, uh, for your splitting needs or hatchet work, uh, this section right here is jimping. So if you got a log here that you want to split into smaller kindling, you're going to want to baton that. So you set this on the edge of that log, you pick up a stick and you hit, and that stick's going to hit right in here. That's going to grab that stick, push it down through the object you're trying to split and that'll make batoning a whole lot easier. It's laden with safety features, so you have what's called a quad lock system, these four bars here. So you press all four of those down, and then as you're closing, if you're being a little absent-minded, you can see how you might chop your fingers off, so we built in a redundant safety here that's gonna catch you before you do something stupid like that. Press those quad locks again, and then you lock it shut, and that's that. It's a double down, it comes with a sheath that can be molly, molly attached to molly or uh, belt carried. We have three colors, here are two of them. There's also a black with a black blade as well. So that's the double down folding hybrid machete. Uh, I'll show you another one of my Portland favorites here. There's a new one called the Principal. So the Principal is uh, designed to meet the needs of the bushcraft user. And uh, what we've found is that nobody puts more demand on their, their knives and tools than a bushcraft user because it's their lifeblood when they're in the field. So we have a product here that has a 90 degree edge for your fire striking needs. It's got a zero edge or a Scandinavian grind, which is going to make it really easy to service and sharpen in the field, but also give you really a uh, whole lot of strength behind that, that initial cutting edge. And then uh, we have what we call triple ergonomics here. So in the bushcraft schools we went to, we found that there are three main grips that uh, bushcraft users are going to end up applying in the field. That's baseball, which is your standard grip. Then there's precision grip. And then that's for you know your really precise cuts. And then lastly is something called the chest lever grip. And that's where you lay your thumb. We have these ramps here so you have a really good control and you get actually above the blade edge. And then you have your work piece. If you're trying to shave down a piece of wood, what you do is you actually pull it towards yourself. So you're really safe while you're doing that rather than you know cutting away from yourself or cutting towards yourself or whatnot. Um, but that's not all. There's more. So we have a sheath system here. I'll show you uh, kind of how it works. It's modular. So we have two different attachments here. This is going to work scout carry, so that would go on the small of your back and that would live underneath a pack or if you just wanted to carry it on your back for one reason or another, that's going to do really well. What you would do is you would take this, which is called a molly slip stick, and you would pull it out. And so that stick would make it so this can attach straight to molly if you wanted to. So you would just drop that right in there, weave it through the molly. Or you can also do that same thing with this, which is a basic belt attachment. So you would just pop that over your belt, really easy to use. So it's a modular sheath system that uh, is very, very versatile. We, we kind of figure you need a knife. A kni it's important to have your knife where you need it. And so we give these variety of options with how you mount your sheath. Uh, next thing I'll show you is our fastball cleavers. So the fastball came out last year as a flipper uh, made out of the US. It's really great product, it comes with a Warncliffe blade. We wanted to uh, provide something a little more on trend. Uh, so we came out with this cleaver blade. And it's actually our first step into 20CV steel. So 20CV is an upgrade over uh, S30V. So we have 20CV steel, ball bearings, uh, really precise deep ball detent, which gives it this flipping action. And then we actually upgraded the backspacer from the glass-filled nylon to an anodized aluminum. And that's gonna be type three with that really cool groove in it there. So cleaver blade comes in both black and coyote, like is pictured here, or we have a high polish with a urban blue, navy blue. So that's your other option. Uh, very great pocket, pocketable everyday carry knife there. So we'll move on here uh, on that same cleaver thread. So flat iron uh, came out two years ago, it was a great success for the company. And uh, so we kind of continue down that path. We have an aluminum with 7CR, we have a G10 with 7CR, and now this is a micarta with D2. And we actually put a lot of cool touches on this. So you can see the high polish blade there, and you have high polish, uh, this is what we call a pinch plate, we have it patented makes it so that the knife is really easy to open when you have this thumb hole. It's easy to 
accidentally pinch your blade, so we came up with this plate here. And then you can see how these three things match. Really nice little touch, and then we have a PVD frame. So really upgrade, nice upgrade to the existing bestseller, the flat iron. Uh, one more cleaver I'm going to show you. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't show you. Here's, a, here's our fastball in that urban blue I was talking about. So we'll move on to the next one here. Uh, so the Asada. The Asada is an aluminum 7CR flipper that runs on ball bearings. It's a cleaver blade, obviously. Really pocket-friendly shape. Um, it's going to come in at a much more friendly price point than the, uh, or much more accessible price point than the the fastball cleaver with 20 CV. So this is going to be in that $50 range, where these are going to be in that $140 range domestically made. Um, so yeah, you got a lot of cool touches here. It's kind of that average between uh, the the flat iron and the fastball. And we've done a really good job with some of the detail work here. You got matching hardware and then a nice PVD frame. And then we have an upgraded model of it that comes out at the same time. So this has got a D2 blade and micarta scale. So upgrade on both those. Micarta is a really cool material because it takes a little patina when it gets worn and it actually gets a little grippier when wet. So very cool there. The production will actually come in a little greener hue than this. So close, but not quite right now. Next item I'll show you is called the Sumo. So the Sumo, don't mind that the pocket clip's on the mark side right now. Those will obviously be on the pile side. It's a reversible pocket clip, but this is a full-size knife. Uh, it's uh, working off the trend that we picked up on with really weight-forward knives. So I call it the Sumo because you think about a Sumo wrestler and they lean forward, they're weight-forward. The design of this knife is weight-forward. So it runs on a pivot lock system here. Really easy open close with a nice big thumb hole. Um, but yeah, you got layer G10, ceramically coated liners. Uh, we have a cyan here, and then this one has a nice drab red. And the layers on the drab red one are black and gray, while the layers on the cyan one are white and black. And then you got the two different blade treatments there. So really cool full-size knife, really on trend with that weight forward design. And you can do a little spidey flick with it, open it with your forefinger, or you can uh, just run the pivot lock like normal. So a really cool knife, great value, $40. Uh, it's hard to beat that. Really proud of that one there. Uh, the Ayako, so Japanese inspired knife. You have a front flip or a manual front deployment, um, but you also have this hole here provides a nice nail nick option for you if you want to use that. Um, basic Japanese design, uh, we have it both in this silver and we have a flat stage green as well. Uh, and then some cool detail worked into that. You can see those coined aluminum scales with a nice little detail. Um, but yeah, really basic knife, incredible value at about $30. Really cool product there. So a frame lock on that one. Great product. Uh, let's see what we want to do next. Uh, so we'll talk you through these PryBrid products here. So this is called the PryBrid Utility. And the PryBrid Utility has a, a pry bar here uh, with a nail puller and medium and large driver, a bottle opener, lanyard hole and then a strap cutter there, and then you push out and you get this standard size utility blade there, the trapezoidal blades. You push out a little further and that's how you would pull the, the blade out if you wanted to replace it. But you can see how thin that is, nice thin profile, full tang of steel, really durable, and then G10 is the handle material there. And then that product's little brother is called the Pribrid X. So it comes with a nice little paracord wrap here. You could obviously switch that if you wanted to. Some similar stuff on the business end here where you have Small driver, medium driver, nail puller, bottle opener, lanyard hole. And then instead of a full-size trapezoidal blade, you have an X-Acto blade here at number 17. It's a really cool product there as well. And those products are both in the $20 to $30 range. So if we move over here, uh, I'll walk you through a couple of our hunting products. Uh, first, we'll start with the ExoMod series. So like you noticed with our principal products, sheaths are really important to Gerber. And so we put a lot of attention and a lot of thought into what we do with our, our sheet system. So this is a new patented system. You can see they're stacked here. Um, and that's these, these snaps. And these are all sold separately, but it makes it so you can build your own kit very easily. So you have, clear ourselves some space here. <clears throat> you have three products in this series. You have a small caper. It's gonna come in around $30. Full tank construction, very lightweight. We have it hollowed out in the middle, uh, but you still get that full tank durability. And you have this nice, uh, you can see it's a little wider than the, the stock of the steel, so it gives you a little better ergonomic grip on it. Um, but you get really lightweight product. You have some jimping out here for your precision work uh, when you're cutting inside the cavity. It should also be noted, these are really great products that kind of span both general outdoor use and hunting specific use. Um, so you can build whatever, you, whatever kit you might need. 
between the caper, the full-size drop point, which is gonna share all those similar characteristics, a hollowed out interior with a full tang design, jimping on bottom and top for great control, and, uh, and the snap together sheet system. So you can see how, how low profile these would be as single carry, single carry items, either on your belt or in a slash pocket in a pack. Lastly would be the pack saw. So we have our cross-cut sawtooth tech technology on this product. Does a great job sawing through bone, small branches, limbs, whatnot. Um, so a great little product to have on hand, whether hunting or general, generally being backpacking or outdoors. Um, and you get that similar construction here where the injection mold gets a little wider than stock of the steel. Does, does a great job. So SK5 steel on that one, where the other two are 7CR. And then you just build your own kit. Snap them together, align the snaps. There you go, ExoMod. So those products all come in between 30 and $40. Really cool kit, really cool little system. So we'll move over here to our Randy Newberg items. So Randy Newberg is a great badass, a great partner of ours. And uh, we spent three years flying back and forth to Bozeman, myself and our, our lead designer. And we came out uh, with two products at the end. We started with a blank sheet of paper and all the things, and like about 50 knives on the table, all the things that Randy hates about hunting knives and what he likes. And we kind of, we're all hunters, so we're all kicking things around. And we landed on these two products. And they're designed for uh, the gutless method, uh, but they also work really well for a traditional open cavity uh, cleaning method. So this one here, you can see, the handle nests nicely into the back of the case. So this is just gonna live in your kill kit, live in your pack until something's on the ground, right? Uh, so you pop that out. What you have here is a full tank, so you got your durability in there, but then very lightweight, you can see it's skeletonized there. And then uh, got here, let's just mention the box on the way. You can see this kind of sine wave of silicone here. That makes it so these blades are never gonna rattle in there. So they're gonna stay really quiet while you're out in the, in the field hunting. And you have three exchangeable blades that come with it. And it's just important that we say exchangeable, not replaceable, because these are not more products to put into that replaceable blade market, where we have the Vital and there's some other competitor products. These are 440C, high durability, multi-season blades made with thick stock, just the right thickness to give you flex, but durability. And then three task-specific blades. So this is called the backstrap blade, so that you're not taking that very precious cut of meat and hamburgering it up with a whole bunch of cuts to get down to it. This is called your task blade, and this is called our breakdown blade. So the breakdown blade is a really cool tool because uh, what it allows you to do is keep these blades very, very sharp while t handling your dirty work with this. So if you're cutting tendons or if you're cutting hocks, any number of things, or actually when you're cutting through dorsal hide or even caping, it's surprising, but you gotta try it. This works really well for caping. So what you're gonna do with any of these blades uh, you have our same split tech sex system here, so you press this down, and then we actually improved it on this. We added a second post, so what you're gonna do is drop that on there, and it is really on there. So it's not going anywhere, super tough, might as well be fixed, but it's not. Um, but then yeah, a couple of last touches that we put onto this product are reflectives. So these patches that you see are retro-reflective, and why that's important is most animals are shot at either dusk or dawn, and if something's getting shot at dusk, that means you're gonna be cleaning it in the dark. And uh, it's really easy to lose knives, and if you lose knives in the middle of cleaning your, your prize animal that you just took down, uh, you're gonna be in a bad way. So when you put your headlamp on, which is what most people use to clean their animals in the dark, this won't just reflect light, it'll reflect light right back to your eyes. So it's a really cool system, easy to locate in the dark. And uh, let that move us into the next product here. So this one, I'm sorry, this one's called the, the EBS, which stands for Exchangeable Blade System. Randy Newberg Exchangeable Blade System. And then this product over here is the Randy Newberg DTS, which stands for Dual Tool System. Um, so the DTS shares that similar thing I was just telling you about with the refle retro reflective patch, but then it's a very different makeup. So you have a more traditional folding knife here, uh, and you have, we're calling it the Dual Tool because you have indeed two tools to do, do the job. So that same philosophy comes to work here, where this product, this, this end of it, this tool here, is called the tendon tool, and that's meant to do all your dirty work. It's made out of D2 steel, extra tough, extra rugged, so that you, as you're cutting through bones and cutting through thick tendons and sinew and all that stuff that's gonna dull a primary blade, this is meant to take that beating. And then we've got a lot of things worked into it. So you got serrations here, they're actually gonna change because we're constantly testing these in the field. They'll be a little smaller teeth, uh, which we found works a lot better. Then you have this leading swedge here, and that's for the atlas joint. That's how you take the head off of an elk or a deer or any animal, pretty much. You have to break down that atlas joint. And this is designed specifically for that. 
and that joint is what breaks most knife, most knife blades is trying to separate that. Um, so that, that's on a frame lock and then when you come to this other end of the knife here, it's on a pivot lock and so we have a nice 440C blade uh, which is the same steel on both of these, the EBS and the DTS. You have a nice 440C blade that's going to be really sharp because you did all your dirty work with the D2 tendon tool. Um, so great product there. We've got a lot of things worked into it like a, a barrel construction for easy cleaning. We've hollowed out a lot of the stuff on the inside to make it extra lightweight. And then we've rounded this a lot so that when you're working with that tendon tool, you have a nice uh, curved blade that's easy on the hand. Uh, the color is going to be much more like this. This is kind of an earlier sample, but um, yeah, it's a really great product. Really proud of these two. This one will come with this sheath here. Um, and these are both at $60 retail. And then lastly, we have uh, some really cool products in the uh, multi-tool pocket tool category here. So these are called the arm bar and they're just loaded with features. So this one's, there's two, two models. This one's called the arm bar drive because you have this full feature driver here. It might as well just be a standard screwdriver. And it's a reversible bit here that has a, comes with a standard flat and Phillips driver. Um, so you have that, it's on a slip joint. And then you have this cool uh, hammering surface here and then it pops out and it's really clever. It pops out to be a bottle opener you can see there. And then you have a full feature blade, great blade there. And then nice set of scissors on the inside and an awl. So really cool little product. Um, all you could need in a little everyday carry for your pocket tool. And then this one's gonna share a lot of those same features, but it's got a, a wine cork puller in it. And it's actually got a lever arm. So you twist into your wine here, and you have a lever arm to push against. So you're not just kind of pulling as hard as possible. You actually have something to lever against. Uh, and then you have some similar features over here with the, the knife blade and a number of other internal components. So those are called the armbar series, and those are available in a number of colors. These are just two of many, um, but yeah. That's uh, a selection of the new products from Gerber for 2020. Uh, we have a lot more. We do all kinds of problem solving, life saving gear. That's what we do. It's, we, do it, we do it every day and we are very proud of the work we do. So come out and see us, check out the full offering and uh, come visit us at gerbergear.com.